Okay. Right. This one's going to be a mundane, boring one, but hopefully we can make it come up a treat, colour-wise. Oh, so hot and sweaty, mate. I feel like I'm drenched in this shit. Oh, fuck. No, we don't B5, A5. Okay. So what colour are we going to give, give this one? Game brown. Let's see if we can make this mundane piece of stuff look good. It's boring stuff. Okay, and the black. Right, this one's going to be enlarged. So, we're going to go here. It's a, I know what size this is. I'm pretty well sure of it. Hang on, cancel. We're just going to put the original first, and I'll show you what it is. It is Coles Financial Services. Coles have really been moving into different areas of late like insurance and car insurance and shit like that. Stuff which I don't have a use for. Now this is financial services, whatever. I don't know how they can spread themselves so thin, you know. <laughs> it's likely it's not going to be a very good business because Coles I've always associated with, they've always been a supermarket to me. But now they, they're spreading their capitalist tentacles into other areas and and really it's not a good it's not the best thing to do <laughs> you do what you do one or two things well you do it well instead of doing it haphazardly because you love money and want to get into other lucrative areas because you see it is really good opportunity to do business but you got to do it well and it's best to specialize in most cases Otherwise, you're going to do a fuck-up job and people are going to be ripped off and people are not going to be happy with you big, rich people who rule who rule over these big companies. So, basically, yeah. You should... You sh I do believe coal should just stick to food, to supermarket services. That's an interesting result. So, enough about that. But I do believe that it's best... If if Coles, places like Coles, would stick to being just a supermarket because you could do a lot better job. And it's about quality, not quantity. So as if you rich people would listen to me. But anyway, that's my fucking two cents.